In 2010, we were celebrating the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, cheering as Chilean miners were rescued, and witnessing the first privately held company launch, orbit, and recovery of a spacecraft. That year also saw the release of the 4G network and the world of apps. And as Matt Rudell tells us, this computer-in-your-pocket technology put the world at our fingertips and provided new challenges for digital investigations. At any moment, anywhere we were in the world, we could have access to the, our entire digital life on the internet or on the web. And 4G really allowed that to happen. And so what that meant is all of these new applications started to come on to these devices. Uh, we didn't just have call logs and text messages and contact lists on the phones anymore. Now we had third-party apps that had health information, location-based data, all kinds of additional pieces of information on these devices that everybody was carrying around with them. And so at the beginning of the decade, we really saw this boom in digital forensics where we were able to access and get all of this additional information from these devices. Not to mention the storage capacity on these devices started to increase pretty rapidly. It started to come out that we could see your location or we could access your deleted text messages. And as that information sort of got out into the community, uh, consumers started to demand from the manufacturer is why? Why is this information so easy to access? And so the consumers actually started to demand answers to these questions from the manufacturers. And the manufacturers listened. What we're starting to see now, and what is becoming a really big challenge for us, is that these devices do have encryption built right into the device itself. And the encryption is getting better and better and harder for us in digital forensics to get at that information to actually be able to extract it. So we've had to sort of play this game of catch up where we figure out a way to get the information off the phone. The manufacturer changes the way the information is stored on the phone and now we have to come up with a new way to get that information off the phone. And so it's a constant sort of cat and mouse game that we're playing in law enforcement in particular, but in forensics in general, trying to get this information off of these smartphones. Mm -hmm.